Hey everybody, I'm Eddie if you're new to my channel and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my room renovation that has been happening the past few months and I just want to show you guys what I've been doing, what different things I did to really change up my room and I hope you guys can get some helpful tips from this. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up, comment what you would like to see in my future videos and turn on post notifications so you always know when I upload a new video. So I started off this whole little journey back in August actually and, and it's literally taken like three months but I just have been wanting to redo my room for a while now and we aren't moving or anything but I still wanted it to feel like a big change especially considering my room before I did this oh my gosh you guys wouldn't even believe it it was like spider-man themed with like baseball posters and like memorabilia all over the walls it was so like so not me and obviously that's a great room for someone else but for me it just like didn't really represent me you know I did a few different things and yeah let's just to get started. Back in August, I told my mom that I wanted to kind of spruce up my room and she was like, okay, let's do it. And like the next day we went to Home Depot and got some paint. I just got white paint and I'll take you guys through the painting process. So I went to Home Depot, I got a few different items to paint my walls and I had just learned how to paint from a Buzzfeed video. I'll link it down below, but it was super basic. There weren't a lot of materials needed and it was actually not that hard. Okay, so here is a quick little haul of everything that we got for the room. Like you can literally see, so there's like holes all over there. Like it's just so ratchet. It's been a long time coming. So first I got just some spackle, like a, a kit. So it comes with a putty knife and a spackle. So you put the spackle on like holes and then you use the putty knife to smooth it out. And then I got some uh, finishing semi-gloss enamel and this is for like trim, like on my closet for example, the trim on the side and on my door too. And then I got a little uh, sanding sponge for the spackle. You just sand it down with the sponge to make sure it's smooth. A little bucket for paint that I can kind of use for on the go while I'm around so that I don't have to carry around the tray. And this is also for if say like dust gets in here it won't ruin the whole type of paint it'll just ruin like this small pool of it and then i got a drop cloth for my floor just to cover up to make sure nothing gets damaged by the paint a big stick and this is just to extend a, a roller which i'll get to next so next we got this kit and it basically has a paint tray different rollers like a to apply paint to the wall a paint brush an angled brush for corners and then we attach this stick onto the rollers and then we can use it as a longer extension rig. Some painter's tape for the drop cloth to kind of tape it around the borders of the room. And then the actual paint. So we got some primer. This is just a multi-surface primer. And then we also got some white paint. And I tried to get the same brand as the trim color so that they would be the same color. So they're both the same shade, ultra pure white. <laughs> and yeah, that is the haul for all the painting materials. Girl, I'm so excited. This has been such a long time coming. Like literally, I cannot wait. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna turn out well. I've never painted before, so I'm really nervous about that. So yeah, let's get started. Make sure you stay tuned. This is gonna be a fun video and I'm super excited. Let's go. So the first step of painting the walls was just getting everything out of the room and then taping it up so that paint didn't get everywhere. All right, we have officially cleared. Oh my, it's so echoey in here. We cleared everything out though. I still have stuff in the closet just because I felt like we could close the doors and keep that separated. Everything off the wall walls is gone. Oh, except for that picture. <laughs> so yeah, it's about to start getting dark, but we're going to paint. The only thing left in here is just some lights and then my painting stuff. So that actually took a really long time. Like I had to dismantle my bed and like kind of take everything apart and then move it out of my room. And then actually taping the room and making sure everything was sealed was also really hard because the cover that we got, like the tarp that we got to cover my floor was not correctly fitted for my room size. So I had to like kind of configure it so that it would fit and just taping in general was really hard. Okay. So it is 8.53 p.m. same night and I'm about to spackle and prime the walls for painting and everything's clear out of the room But um, yeah, I'm just gonna put down painters like tape and the drop cloth on the ground and then get started So after I taped everything, I started spackling and basically what I did was I would just insert some spackle into any of the holes and spackle is basically just a filler for any holes. So put it in any holes that you have in your room and it can fill those over. So I have a ton of like holes like these in my room. So I'm gonna take some spackle. I just got this kit and I'm gonna apply it onto the holes and then go over with primer just to make sure that it's super smooth. Hey 
everybody, it is the next day. It is about noon, so I have been working this morning, just kind of finishing up what I did last night. So I finished this spackling, and what I did was took a piece of sandpaper and just glued it onto a sponge, and then just used it as like a sanding sponge to sand down the spackle and make sure that all the excess glue had been removed. So now all the holes are smoothed over. There is a bit of like discoloration around the spackle, but when we paint over that, it'll be all good. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start priming, basically just priming the walls, you know, putting some paint over the spackle just to make sure that it has a smooth base for the paint layer to go on. So I'm very stressed because I have been working for a while. What I think I'm realizing is that the paint prep is, is actually taking a long time. Like I don't think painting is gonna take too long because there isn't a lot of like detail or anything. It's only one color and it's the whole room. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get started and I've been watching a ton of TV, which I have enjoyed. After we finish the first layer of primer, we're gonna go and do some furniture shopping and then after that, we'll do the paint. So one layer of primer and then paint. I primed the walls first. I think I did two coats of primer and that was not that bad. I was really worried after I saw the results of that because it was a bit streaky, but that ended up just being the primer. And my walls still looked a bit blue, but after I did the first coat of paint, they started to actually look white. So yes, then after the primer, I painted the walls. And that was not too bad. The paint went on really smoothly, and the one we got was, I think, an eggshell texture. So there are different textures of paint. There's like matte, semi-gloss, eggshell, etc. I used eggshell just for frame of reference. It worked well for my walls, and it wasn't too textured or streaky, so it looked pretty good. And for my walls, I think I did three coats because it really took a while for it to look clean. And that was definitely the easiest part of the process. Like, for some reason, priming and prepping the walls was the hardest process because it just took forever, and it was really detail oriented you know you had to make sure the tape was precise and then after painting my walls I ended up painting the trim and like the doors so my window trim and then my closet trim and my door and that was a different paint that was a semi gloss not quite sure on that I'll make sure I have the information down below I had to prime that and then paint that and that was just a whole nother process once everything was painted I finally was able to actually start with my favorite part which was the decorating we actually went to Ikea to get most of the furniture just because they have an aesthetic that I like and it's super affordable we went there oh my gosh the line outside it was literally almost a thousand people I would assume were in that line because it stretched outside of the store in like those barriers that you see at the roller coasters and like theme parks where it goes back and forth back and forth back and forth so they had one of those outside the store and then after you got through that line there was a whole other line around the parking lot and the parking lot is huge at Ikea it was like all the way around and then at the end of that line around the parking lot there was another whole zigzag barrier configuration it took forever it took us about an I were to get in and that was just really weird because I was like why are so many people going to Ikea like the last time I went there previously to this was like four years ago who goes there on the daily but I guess since it's the only one in my area it attracts a lot of different customers and so at Ikea a quick little haul the different items that I got from Ikea were the slacked bed the Raskog cart I know I'm gonna mix up all these names the Muleg clothing rack and the Hobbit mirror so I'll throw up images and of course links down below if you want to purchase one of them yeah that was the stuff I got from Ikea. So as of now, I have everything out of those furniture items built. My room's pretty empty, so next part will definitely be including getting some decorations and stuff. And then I also do have a plan for wallpaper and chalkboard paint in parts of my room, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching this little rundown of my room renovation experience. I think you can definitely hire Exo Eddie Interiors coming soon to an area near you because it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of work though because I just had to paint like for two weekends nonstop and that took a lot of time. Just getting everything set up was also a long time but I definitely enjoyed it and I'm really happy with the results again make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications so you always know when I upload a new video give this video a giant thumbs up and a comment down below what you'd like to see in my next video and also if you made it to the end you can comment down below the Ikea line was crazy because girl it still confuses me how it was that long make sure to subscribe to my podcast wherever you listen to your podcast Teenage Fever all the links will be down below and follow the podcast on Instagram we have a super exciting announcement coming really soon that I think you guys are gonna love Love and there's a lot of updates coming there soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.